again. Oh, starting again. Be a sick guy. <laughs> starting all again, apparently, uh, there was no technical difficulty. Fuck it. This is just how we start reviews. Yeah. Already pre-poured. Old engine oil, which P had brought over. And also the Innocent Gun Bourbon Cask Dark Ale, mm-hmm. which um, is 7.4. Mm-hmm. Alcohol, ABV, whatever you say. Yeah. So you taste it, and he thought it was okay or something like that. I thought it tasted. It smelled a lot like green olives. And I liked it. So. It tasted pretty okay. Hmm. Right, the second in command to the Irish whiskey that Innocent Gun does. P says that the Irish whiskey is the best beer that Innocent Gun does, and I kind of have to agree with that yeah. one. If we're both fans of Irish whiskey. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I've tried to experiment with hard liquor a bit and this and that, but like Irish whiskey for me is kind of like. Where it's at. Yeah. You know? Minus Forty Creek. Don't buy Forty Creek, please. What the fuck is that? Forty Creek? I just thought <clears> the advertisements. <throat> the advertisements for it directed straight to me on this. No way. You know, YouTube. Yeah, they're like Forty Creek. And well, let me like ruin that for you. Shitty looking Canadian drinking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Forty Creek's the worst whiskey I've ever had. Mystery solved. <laughs> It's like if you're a Royal Reserve person, yes, we're doing a beer vote. You can't even stand. I'm gonna it title this Forty Creek Whiskey Review. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you you kind of know what you're expecting with the Innocent Gun. Although this new Innocent Gun Bourbon Cast Stout is a stout. It's a dark ale. It's a dark ale, and I do seem to remember the Bourbon Cask from Innocent Gun of several years ago being like a like a, a lighter colored beer, and it wasn't that fucking good. It was very sweet and weird. Yeah. This one's was a lot better, I think. Yeah. Unless I'm just fucked and it was always like a dark ale. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it was. I no, because it looked like something similar that I'd seen I before, remember. but I tried it just in case. I did not like the ribbon cast several years ago, but this one, the few sips I had, it was fairly cold, though, for that beer, but it was pretty good. And this is the old engine oil, which is an oatmeal stout from uh, England. From 1983. Don't forget. From 1983. The year the Peace of Mind came out from Iron Maiden. That's... Because, like, uh, you know, because you read this and you're like, oh, wow, since 1983. <laughs> like, when you think of, like, an old world brewery, yeah. you're not thinking, you're like, You're hoping 1983. for 1963, not 83. That's, like, the same year Big Rock opened. Because Old Engine Oil, like, I mean, they might as well lied a little bit and said 1952 or something. Yeah, Old Engine Oil probably how would have totally got away with a lie. Because they got the No one would have questioned them. Because you look at this. <clears throat> That's not. They have a cartoon rat on yeah, the bottle. That's dude. N- if you can see it. It's not that's, 1983. That's like looking. Well, older. that's the same year that 101 Dalmatians came out. Yeah, no, it's not. There's no Disney on that. That's Disney. Is it not? <laughs> that rat in a car? Yeah. The hell but is in it? England, who knows what they have, right? I don't know what they have over there. Yeah, because this could be 1983 uh, technology for cartoons or for them. But probably was. I've How never seen any know? English cartoons that's from 1983. True. That's true. I know their actual cars are yeah. really fucking weird looking. Yeah. Not really weird looking. They look. They just look really shitty. Yeah. I do like a Jaguar though. I used to hate them, but Jaguars no. look cool, but they actually are shitty. They did not know that. Yeah, they're pieces of shit. Yeah. <laughs> like they look. Forty cool. Creek Jaguar. No. Nope. Forty Creek and Jaguar. <laughs> In case there's you didn't gonna, know. Yeah. There's no. There's no. Uh, there's going to be no 40 Creek hats or t-shirts sent to the Berserker. Berserkadian. Well, not anymore. Artist formerly known as the Berserker. Yeah, because like Jaguar sends me so many t-shirts. No, I'm saying. whiskey companies. From 40 Creek. I do have a girl's shirt. They didn't send it to me at Kane. Mm-hmm. With my giant fucking bottles of girl's thing, which are awesome. Yes, that is good. And a really good deal mm-hmm. on top of that. You get a massive growler from Girlish. What is it? 1.5 liters <clears throat> for 12 bucks. It comes with a fucking t-shirt. I gotta Pretty hard to question. say no to that. Really. If you got to review alcohol and beer. Just mm-hmm. for entertainment. So. Yeah. That's, this is the beer, only thing really. That's just No, but fun. my point is <laughs> that. You, if you're going to make alcohol or anything. Why would mm-hmm. you make garbage and laugh. Like mass quantities. Really. Oh, because people love shit. That's just true. That's true. People I forgot. love shit. That's like if you like, like, why is McDonald's so yeah. successful? Yeah. It's cheap and it's garbage, and here we go. Yeah. yeah pretty much. Dollar nineteen, two twenty five. here's your burger. Yeah. You, the few geeks that fucking, you know, are after all the facts 10%, we can't please them exclusively. Yeah. That's what, that's what, uh, 
What do people drink? What do you mean? Well, a lot of people drink Molson Canadian, and a lot of people drink... Do you think people are Canadian. giving up on Molson Canadian more so? I would. Because I gave up on Molson Canadian a long time ago. Yeah, but I mean, uh, I don't... I would much rather drink a lot of other macro beers than Molson Canadian. Because whenever I've been around people, it's like, it's very... Not very often I hear, see, you know, somebody at a restaurant or anything. It's usually Cokney or Pilsner. Or I've seen a few people drinking Molson lately, but it does taste like the inside of an old snowshoe. Yeah. But I mean, before, it was like way more prevalent. People, you well, know, before I started this, if you're out pizza and Chinese food, it's like I'll have Molson can. Yeah, right. But the, 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 now, the, the, the people were allowed, like they, they were allowed to order Stella Artois on the menu. Yeah. And guess what? A lot of them did. Yeah. I would personally rather drink a Labatt Blue than a Molson can. Whereas now I see people though, like, like Kokanee or like. Corona. I'd definitely rather drink Kokanee and Corona. A lot of Corona. Molson. A lot of Corona people. <laughs> corona is way better than Molson. Yeah. Holy fuck! Like so, the times they are changing maybe a little bit, you know. Yeah. That's true. Well, I, I think there's some diehard Molson people. Yeah. I, I wouldn't drink it myself, not for the money. I mean, a lot of people do like it. That's fine. Uh, old Stout Pilsner is what I do drink. If it's available, I will take an Old Stout Pilsner over Molson, but they are made by Molson, and they're very similar. Yeah. They do have the funk, and they are... To, to like, argue over what's better, Molson or Old Stout Pilsner is like having a shit fight. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. They're barely passable macro loggers. Like, Coors Light's better, hands down. Yeah. Um, it really is. So is Kokanee, and so is, like, almost everything else. Yes. Olympia, I buy Olympia at budget prices if I can find it, and it's better than most name brand macro. Yeah. At least it's good. It really is. It really is. Like, I'll drink Olympia over Molson any day in the mm-hmm. fucking week, and, and yeah. it's cheaper. Brew House, though, when you send me, like, the Brew House beers... And, like, the Luckies and stuff, it's, like, brew house. I'll still drink it over... Like, if, I, if I'm going to drink Molson, I may as well buy brew house. <laughs> I mean, I really will. Yeah. Like, I, I will step into brew house. If it's, like, Molson, should I pay the extra? I don't even know what those beer prices are anymore. I've been going to liquor store for beer. So, it's just been buying wine. Because, <laughs> a lot lately. But the beer prices are horrible right now. Yes. Um... Really bad. Like, so, let's say brew house. I don't know what it is. If, like, you used to be able to get, like, an eight-pack... A brew house for like really cheap. TNT used to be really cheap, and now like fifteen pack of TNT was like twelve bucks. Yeah, and then fifteen sixteen wasn't bad. Now I saw it on sale for fifteen sixteen pack. We're, we're Canadian, so like just like if you're American for like eighteen fifty. This is beer that would probably cost you like forty six cents a can. Yes. But we have to pay... We're lucky if we get it for a dollar a can. Yeah, oh yes. Really lucky. Now we don't get that anymore. Now even $2 a can. All beer is expensive. doesn't matter if it's like macro, micro, or anything. Yeah. It's no, because like, like this old $3 engine oil a can. is like three twenty five. How much was the fax again? Four bucks even. Four bucks for this can of fucking shit. Yes. Four bucks for a yeah. can of malt liquor. For some Danish Big Rock. For some Danish Big Rock. <laughs> Worse than all liquor. <laughs> Facts. It's the Danish Big Rock. That should yeah. be their slogan. Yeah. To, to market towards Canadians. Yes. Facts. The Danish Big Rock. Big Rock is made in Calgary. And Facts is made in... Da- what? What? Copenhagen? There you go. Copenhagen tastes just like the chew spit. That's, yeah. That should be their slogan. Facts tastes just like Copenhagen chew spit. I think I like that better. Copenhagen chew spit? If you put that in beer, it'd probably be okay. They should... Oh, you... Fucker, you should not have said that live on the internet. Why is that? Because now, um, a lesion or dogfish head, more than likely, is going to brew a Copenhagen chew spit beer. Why not? It'll probably be better. Copenhagen chew spit <clears throat> than facts? If somebody was, like, you know... We're from I, the, we're about West, so... If none of you know what Copenhagen chew spit is, go buy yourself a tin, dip it up. Yeah. We've all dealt with this before. You put it in your lip. You don't swallow it, by the way. You should not. You know, I wouldn't recommend that. Your fucking neck will explode. Well, or you get, get eaten away like ass and your head will fall off. Well, that's about like Copenhagen. You get a little bit of a tummy ache if you swallow it. You'll throw up for sure is what yeah. he's trying to say. Yeah. It's not like you chew it. That's just what they call it. It's like... There's not really anything you really compare it to. Can you imagine how many people don't know what chew it is nowadays? 
Yeah, I imagine lots of people don't know. And they yeah, probably shouldn't I, was know, like, and I wouldn't recommend anyone finds out. Yeah, because, I mean, that was, like, common knowledge, but, you know. There is some really nice chewing tobacco out there. I don't, I don't really do tobacco, but, yeah. like, the, like, plug leaf tobacco is definitely, like, what I would recommend going to if I was going to be dumb enough to fuck around with something that addictive. But, like, yeah. Copenhagen is, like, chewing the burnt air ha- air. Ass hair off Satan's asshole. That would be a fair. That's a pretty fair comparison. Because Copenhagen is like you gotta really like it. <laughs> no, but yeah, you have to have a serious addiction. To yeah, you have to be a Copenhagen person. Whereas, what is it? Is it what's it called? The one with the Indian on the cover. Red Man. Red Man. Yes, that was actually really you good. You tried Red Man? Yes. Yeah, Red Man was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. that because it was like tobacco leaves wrapped up and no, like properly like, cured and everything. Yeah. No, it's like you take a little bit of that. It's like it's still chew and you're like you know try that out. Yeah, if like, I was to do any tobacco product, I'd, I'd go down but, that route. But I don't yeah. really want to fuck around with it. Same with like good cigars and that's like why even fuck with it because it's yeah. like basically like worse than cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't fuck with it. But like, um, where were we going with this? We're just having a conversation and having a beer. I'm seeing it. Well, no, the slogan was that facts taste like... Oh, yeah, you were like... Bur- you were worried that people were going to start making beer. Chew spit beer. Yes, yes. Chew spit beer. Which I thought would be way better than Big Rock. And I'm right. sure people with any class or taste would agree with me. In the comment section below... <laughs> Please, anyone who watches this video, if there's like 17 people that watch the video, I expect 17 comments. And I expect like 17, not that I can really make anyone do anything. But yeah, but please be in, in... Please participate into P's um, questionnaire yes. of, well, what? how does it go? Exactly. What would be better, a chew spit beer brewed by Dogfish Head or a beer from Big Rock? Yeah. Is that sort of where we're going with this? Even if it's horrible, I'm still betting against Big Rock. That's my opinion. Right. So <laughs> if Dogfish had had an infection in a beer and brewed and still sold it and marketed it as a sour, and it was a chew, Copenhagen chew spit beer, would it be as bad as Big Rock? That's where we're headed with this, right? Yeah. Okay, sweet. In Copenhagen or Red Man? No, Red Man would be a pretty decent beer. Yeah, it would be. Uh, so we put it out there for like because now all the fads are done and craft beer is kind of like simmering down yes can you imagine though if you had chew spit beer yeah but think about this chew spit beer like what we're talking about yeah okay with let's see I mean this, this is, is a hick review right yeah now. it's gonna get worse imagine <laughs> imagine you had yourself a chew spit beer brewed by Molson no, just let me do it. Uh, okay, then, oh, that's all I do. You, okay, no, you, you, you need do, to you, listen. What but I have all to. right, Mister Fancy Pants, you do it your way. This, right. this may right. be a brilliant idea. You it's tell me. It's a brilliant I'm wrong. idea. Listen, listen here, okay. fella. All right. All right. Now okay. here we go. Okay, chew spit beer. We have that. We have chew spit beer. Okay. Now imagine if you would. If I would, I would. I definitely would. Yes. Yeah. Now. Innocent Gun makes a specialty beer. Every season, what do they say? Chew spit beer cask. (laughs) (laughs) I got me the Innocent Gun Bourbon (laughs) Chew Spit Third Edition. Dark ale. Okay, right. so anyways, I'm going to keep going with this, because okay. I think it's a good idea. It's an excellent idea. Okay, because I don't know any of the current people that are important in whatever you want to say, movies or whatever, right, nowadays, because I'm old. <laughs> but, just for an example, okay, okay. imagine, right. okay, Pamela Anderson, Chew Spit. Well, yeah, you are, like, out of touch. <laughs> imagine, Pamela Anderson. <laughs> In 2017. No one's even thought about Pamela Anderson I know, in like the past 10 years. 10 years ago, she was like, fond for, I got hepatitis from shooting up people's with Tommy Lee. <laughs> okay. so, now what do you think she looks like? She's like some alien. Yeah. Okay. But you have somebody that you would love to have their spit. Now, I'm chewing and spinning into the bucket just a tad. It'll be killed anyways by whatever you're going to do. Because the, 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 the Copenhagen kills all life. 
yeah. on all yeah. planets everywhere. So you have the it's Pam- like a science fiction. We're, yeah. we're, that's so a science fiction edge. You have the Pamela Anderson Chiefs with beer. Yes. Now, Pamela Anderson Chiefs with Okay. And this is going to be I definitely like, don't want any part of this. You can... No, and you could sell this on eBay. You keep your thing for a couple of years. It's worth now thirty bucks instead of ten. Next year, next two, three years, you do another like, like who's somebody that women or women guys would like to stuff? We'll say. You know what I'm Is saying? Is there a digital readout like wide enough? Yes. To, okay. Like, fuck so imagine me. your favorite. Person that's famous that you would like to stuff. Juice spit beer flavored. Oh, so it's like it's like customized to you. No, it's no. like every year they do it, and then you can have this, right? Because and every year they, they there's like it's, it's like a special. A milli- like a what do they call that? Like, you know, when they check for like how many milli whatevers and like water the minerals or whatever. What do they call what the fuck that? Are you, talking about? you know what I'm saying? Like it's on like, water. Like okay. How many parts per million? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Something like that. There's like so I don't many... even know what's going on. Anymore. Okay, listen. So many parts per million of, for example, Pamela Anderson spit cheap beer. It's not going to hurt you, even if she had a disease. But you're going to get that little bit of spit. Well, they boil it for an hour. Yeah, and so they sell can. this, yeah, and people yeah. buy it. Right. Right. I know it sounds insane and stupid. No, not at all. No, but I mean, for me, <laughs> is it? I don't know. Like, yeah, no, it's not. I, the I totally Asian. Agree. I'm surprised Dogfish Ed probably already did this. Yes. Like, what was the Asian girl off of Wayne's World 2? Cassandra? Yes. I don't know her real name. It was like Tia Carr or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was a Tia Carr, actually. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay, yeah, all right. Imagine her. She used to be a beer. Would imagine. you not buy that? Her, I wouldn't. I you would. Might, you would. Yes, I would. You would, too. <laughs> yeah, you would. <laughs> you bet your ass. It's not a joke. It's not. So this beer's pretty good. This stout, it's yeah. like it's kind of sassy. So there's a legend on there's it. a lot. It's a little of... fizzy, you know. It's like as if it's like um, what do you call that kind of shit? There's a lot of room in exploration of how far craft beer can go. I would say craft beers, like we're we're pushing like we're the last frontier. Yeah, and we're the idea men. Yeah, behind where the last place. Can you Capri imagine if we do this and we end up on a commercial and we're yeah. pushing? Well, we will be. Facts: ten percent, fifteen parts per million. Tia Carrara's Carrera. What's her name? Carrara or something. Carrara like is fucking the girl from Wayne's World. Fluid. Is, yeah, Wayne's girlfriend from Wayne's World too. Okay. Yes. And then you could review this. Yeah, well, I would. I know, I know lots of people beer. that would, actually. Yeah. You know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> people don't even have to drink it. It would be a novelty thing. Well, you know, minus yeah, me. you could set it on the shelf. You don't have to drink it. That's right. Minus me. Because if I really thought well, about it. You would drink all of it. He'd, like, buy it all up. It'd be, like, cases of it in your basement. Yeah. But when I think about it, it's like, would I really drink it? I know, like, as a fantasy thing, but as, like, the idea... In reality. Of, in reality, would I do that, though, right? It must have been boiled for an hour. It should be sanitary and clean. Yeah. But how serious are they? But what does it really matter? Yeah. They that could one, have... I'm more interested in, like, how beer is good, not whose mouth and but, their vagina has got swished through. <laughs> because it really doesn't matter yeah, that much. But due like, to the yeah. sanitary... Uh, what is sanitary? They would never do it. So basically, no, they sell like worse shit than that. Yeah, but it's under a certain bit of no. guidelines so that it suits. This is dirty. Yeah. Anyway, the old engine oil stout is, is <laughs> frothy. It's pretty good. Um, and the innocent gun, I'm giving. Um, let's see, the Irish whiskey. Is a ten, in my opinion, if at the very least a nine. This is going to be like a mm, seven point two. Seven point two, but P reads out of ten. I read out of ten. Uh, the old engine oil, I do enjoy a good stout now and then. I do have kind of high expectations out of a stout. Kind of some pretty badass stouts, uh, but this one's very frothy. It's a little overcarbonated. To be quite honest, it's a little bit not. It's not just because I'm like I'm used to Guinness or something. I've had like plenty of stouts that were not nitrous stouts. 
It's a little bit highly carbonated for me for a stout. Um, other than that, it's pretty it's pretty badass. I, I give this beer a, like a seven out of eleven. Uh, seven to an eight. I might give it an eight, you know something like that. There's yeah. better stouts out there, but I would. Uh, the, the oatmeal it is kind of thick and that yeah yeah that, that's what the oatmeal does. So I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it seven and a half out of eleven. Yeah. yeah I, you know what? Fuck it. I give a solid eight. Yeah. But it's a little too carbonated for me. I hope you guys are all okay yeah. after watching this review. You got some ideas you about got some what ideas. you should do if you're yes. going to make a beer. If you run a brewery, you yeah. know, where you heard the cheese spit ideas, yeah. we expect you to put some kind of Viking cheesy, awful Viking horn <laughs> logo on your thing. Yeah. Um, it matches well with the shirt, the black. I red. expect my uncle to be on your product. What would be... Oh, it's Uncle Fax. Uncle Fax. My Uncle Fax. He's Danish. Yeah. First name would be... It's Fax. No. It's Fax Spuzikaradian. Yes. That's his fucking name. Yeah, because you were saying before that Denmark and Canada were pretty much the same... Uh, it's shit. like the same shit. It's not yeah. even like any different. Yeah. You know. Yes. And you were talking... They have that. Indians over there and everything. Yeah. Yeah, so like, I don't know. Be a second. And PC over here. PC. PC. Politically correct. We'll see Politically later. correct. Don't forget about the ancient Canadian Vikings. Actually, that was a thing. Yeah, in Manitoba, right? In Manitoba, oh, yeah. Speaking of Manitoba. In Man, yeah. <laughs> speaking. <laughs> Shit, you know, yes, we we're going to bring in a Manitoba. We're going to bring a real live Manitoba in. You've never seen this before. Oh, but they're used to Chris Peters, so they're, they're kind of like used to no. the dumbed down version yeah. of the Manitoba we're about to bring in. No, this is like... Well, go super, back and, it's supernatural. It's not even... Well, this is like Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. You go back in time and pick up like Beethoven. And yeah, pretty this, much. This is like that. But way f more fucked up. You're going up... Back in time, picking up Genghis Khan. We have a real Manitoban. That's what a real like. Manitoban, and yeah. it's like not like a regular Manitoban. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's like, there are no regular Manitobans. <laughs> Fuck this shit. <laughs> what are you trying to shove up my ass? There's no regular Manitobans. <laughs> you can blow that type of toxic smoke up my asshole. Yeah, no, this is demented. It's Dementor. It's like it's like if He Man had a more demented villain than Skeletor, this guy yes. would be it. Yes. Uh, but somewhat harmless, depending on. He's how. like Orko times on acid a million. <laughs> <laughs> For Manitoba. For Manitoba. 